Hi guys, welcome to uh, this new video, video <coughs> about the BlackBerry Passport and today very quick I want to talk about how to run properly your Google Maps on your BlackBerry Passport. So why we need the Google Maps? Because we can run already the native maps on the uh, BlackBerry Passport. The reason is because of course when you uh, receive a link from someone or you just google an address um, the link doesn't recognize your uh, map on your blackberry passport so you want to have uh, if as possible of course um, access to google maps and there is a, a couple of issue that I went through and I want to show you with you guys how to uh, go around these issues so that you can uh, run properly uh, your uh, Google Maps on your BlackBerry Passport. The first thing that you need to know is you need to download an app that is gonna be on the BlackBerry world. I'm gonna show you that I already have installed so you guys um, can find easy on the BlackBerry uh, world and this app is called BlackBerry Runtime for Android it basically what it, what it does is just uh, work on the background and is a patch it's an app that uh, kind of like a fix as much as possible the miscommunication between the software and the uh, the uh, the the Android apps basically as long as I understood uh, so basically it kind of like a fix a create a, a bridge between the Q10 uh, BlackBerry and the Android because as we know yes the passport is able to run some apps from the Google Play Store some of those that work smoothly some of those sometimes they crash or they freeze. I would say like the 95% of the time your maps is gonna work fine, which is a decent amount. Of course, sometimes it's gonna happen to freeze a little, but I also I'm gonna show you like a little trick that you can avoid the freeze of the map. So you you download this app, uh, it's gonna work on the background. Um, I suggest to restart your uh, device, and then after the, you uh, download this, restart the device, then you gonna um, download uh, the uh, Google Maps from uh, the Google Play Store. So I have my Google Play Store here on my uh, BlackBerry Passport. I also make a link with my uh, Kiwi browser that I spoke uh, to you guys a long time ago. Uh, actually, maybe a week ago, like in my previous video. And uh, let's see if we I can catch um, my app here. Uh, I don't think I can catch it here. But what you need to do basically, if you go here, so you go on Google Map. That's what you search, and this where you need to install it. See, so basically, it's like the latest version that you want to install it. Um, as you see, like I already saw on my phone, I'm gonna show you like how it's gonna work. So once you open your app on your BlackBerry Passport, simply what you need to do, you need to make sure that first of all your um, GPS is on, so the location is on, of course. Otherwise, you're gonna just use like a, as offline. In your um, if it's gonna say like uh, Google stop to work or like you need to have a service blah 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 just ignore that or make okay and as you see like the map is very smooth and it loads immediately if it doesn't give it a couple of minutes uh, then you're gonna like uh, visualize all the name of the street and everything because if you don't do that uh, let's say you find the location and you run on a uh, browse the location immediately and you start the route it's gonna freeze while you get the place that you need to be so once you see like a 
like now is settled it means like okay so everything is fine on the screen and then I can look for a place and we're gonna do something very simple for example um, if you are looking for a place like a restaurant and you click uh, on the link it's gonna give you see the uh, suggestion near you it takes a couple of seconds as we know like because of the lack of support like the miscommunication between the blackberry and android but if you have like a patience for 30 seconds i'm telling you then google maps maps sorry it will bring you anywhere you need it so once it loads you just click on the location and it supports to see even the picture so you can even recognize from the picture is that the place I need to go like a proper version that you can have on an Android uh, phone it can be a Samsung or even like an iPhone for uh, the um, for the iTunes store the Apple store so if you click on directions and you give a second it give you already the route as you see like it's loading everything around and once you see like in a couple of seconds that it get everything settled then you can start if you do this before it's gonna freeze during your route a, a, you're not gonna um, have an easy way to get there so you go on start see right there head nod then turn left so it's just about a couple of tricks that you need to use it to um, make it work. Everything it works properly on your maps. Sorry. Everything works properly on your, on, on your maps. What you just need to do is just be patient to let it load uh, all the streets, as you see. Um, and of course, one of the most important thing that we talked at the very beginning of the video is gonna be the patch so the patch is essential for you guys to have uh, the android apps working better smoothly so blackberry runtime for android download it uh, install it it works on the background so there's nothing you need to do about it restart your phone restart your phone then after you start your phone, you go on Google uh, Store. You're looking for Google Map. First one that you see is the latest version. And then you install it. I would suggest also after you install it, just to restart your device one more time and then you're just gonna be fine. And then once you open it, you uh, just need to wait. The map is gonna load um, the place that you go and uh, all the streets and you is just gonna be fine now let's do another try uh, because I just click on one of the location rates so let's say that I want to go uh, this place one of the places that I that I visit before okay uh, it's kind of like a, I want to type also a place okay so let's see that we go this place right here okay just give it a second it's gonna load all the map be patient because this is the secret if you don't do that you run immediately oh I need to go and no, no, no. click on directions you will never get there because as you see like uh, it's loading the map a little slowly but once you get there you're fine then now it seems like the reload like uh, more or less all around so if I click on directions, see it gets your location, give you the route, wait a second, see all the maps come together. Okay, this look like it's almost there, see? I would say like a between like a 15 and 30 seconds. So we can really manage that because come on, 30 seconds and then you get there. And then you click on start. And once it starts, it works fine. Doesn't give you any problem. Head nod. See? Then, 
turn left. The voice it, it talk like right away, and uh, if you also wait a second, you're gonna see now. Uh, if it does it, I don't know, but it's gonna reload all the streets around you. But once she start to talk and give you the direction, you can even go, and then it's gonna like uh, um, uh, rebuild like all the the structure of the street. See, the street. I will say like I wait for that. Once you wait, wait for that, see, they give you all the main street around you. Yeah, then you can just um, navigate. You just go to the place. No problem because if you don't wait that it can it can happen the, the freeze and that's actually is something that happened to me today because what I did I up, update like the latest version of the map I said crap why I did something so stupid because my BlackBerry post passport already it doesn't support like the Android app I'm gonna download the last one it's not gonna work but even if you uh, download the last version or you upgrade it if the you know uh, the, the 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 Google the, the Google store is gonna say like hey there is a new version blah 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 you you can do it I mean until today that's what I what I what I have done because my map was being downloaded I would say like a six months ago so I was like the hold still like a 2020 so and it worked fine but um, once I download this one. I noticed like I need to wait uh, like a couple of seconds more to load all the street around me and then from this moment on you can just travel whatever you want okay so also another thing that you want to take care of it is like uh, progressively shut down the map because I notice if you shut down the map drastically like I say I go here boom and I down and I shut down Sometimes your phone it doesn't like that and it takes so long to um, re, uh, reload everything. So what you want to do basically is like a stop the route. Okay. Go back. Go back. To the main screen basically. Wait that it's loading again and see loading the map. It just give you know like the map time to re re rebuild like all the all the streets around uh, what you are see is loading. That's it. So almost there. And now you can shut it. If you do all of this before, you shut it right away. I'm telling you, like you shut it and then you reopen it, this is not gonna work for you guys. So, and this is, um, I'm telling you by experience and I like to share this video with you because I want like the people like me, they own the BlackBerry Passport, don't get frustrated and still using this amazing device. Um, before to uh, leave you guys, I wanna show you also uh, the native ma uh, map that you have on your uh, BlackBerry Passport, I'm pretty sure that pretty much everybody has it because it comes by default or you can download it from the BlackBerry uh, world. It is a good map and it loads very fast. It's very practical, it's essential. It doesn't have like that much fanciness around and I like it. And I use this one 90% of my time. I don't go on Google Maps that much. I go on Google Maps on, uh, when I Google a place and of course the link is gonna uh, uh, put me back to that app because it doesn't connect with this one. Uh, also uh, this one, the only issue that has is a, a map that was built for the BlackBerry Passport 2014 which means you're not gonna have an update for new um, buildings, new area in your city and the map get crazy, it's like I don't re recognize this rotatory, I don't know this uh, neighborhood and it's gonna tell you like all the time, okay, go back to the main route, go, ma go to the main street, go to the main uh, like uh, um, mall, go to the closest uh, gas station, whatever. So when you, when you, when you know you go in an area of your st or your city uh, there is kind of like a brand new build and at least I will say like the last three four years This map maybe sometimes it get a little crazy at the end of the of the path 
but if you uh, need to get a place there is a brand new mall let's say they build a mall like a couple years ago you need to go there but you know really know how to get there just use the uh, the Google Maps is gonna bring you there so this one it works 90% of the time for me where I live um, and I'm pretty sure that this one is gonna be even better like in Europe uh, right now that I live in the States I would say like the 95% it works like a flawlessly, smoothly, no problem at all. It recognizes if there is a car accident, if it's slow down and everything. So it's essential, it's good. There's only two voice, uh, in, of course in English, like a, a male and female. But it's an app that it brings you like everywhere you wanna go. So I'm gonna share like, with you guys like one of the place that I've on my favorite. Let's say I wanna go um, to uh, my friend okay so I go to my friend I have already like here in uh, in my favorites a lot in a second this is a way, way faster of course than Google Maps getting root that's it similar process see it give you the, uh, the, the route and you just click on start once to load the street it's also something that I'm I'm learning even from this one. Instead to rush, I, I, I give a second that like load all the the, the 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 streets around, and then you can go. See, and this one I like it because it's like essential and it get me there. Okay, guys. So native maps. Um, it doesn't need the patch, of course. You can run your Google Maps, where I put it, right here, on your uh, passport, no problem. Following like uh, this um, tips that I give you, I'm gonna leave like uh, some comments in the detail uh, drop box. Uh, please leave a comment, like the video, ask any question. And as I say all the time, guys, I'm not a techno guy. I'm just uh, uh, an average person. <laughs> That is a passionate, passionate about like the BlackBerry Passport, and I just play with the phone every day to improve my experience because I don't want to give up on this device. I like it so much, and I hope that you guys, uh, following uh, my humble advice, you can have a better experience and you can really enjoy this uh, little masterpiece of technology. So that's all. Thank you so much for watching the video and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.